Hello everybody, hello, welcome to Elena's Alchemy. For those new here, I welcome you. This is Elena. I am a certified meditation coach, a trained energy healer. I'm an intuitive, an angel worker, an energy healer. And today I am coming back to you with a educational video on how to program crystals. Now, for those not new here, I want to thank you all so very much for your beautiful feedback on the latest educational videos that I've been doing. I'm so happy to see that you guys are enjoying them. And so that gives me the motivation to come back with more, with new ones. And I also thank you so much for your emails that you're sending me with all sorts of beautiful ideas on what do you want me to talk about. So this video is a requested one. <laughs> and I have a video also called Crystals 101. I'm going to link it where there's all sorts of infos on how to work with crystals and why. But um, today I'm going to be talking about how to program a crystal specifically for those who are looking for the quick answer. So you guys, first of all, yes, you can program crystals. Crystals are holding a consciousness. What they do, how crystals work anyways, is like you have them in your space, whether you are working with them by holding them in your hand or not, um, they are beaming a specific level, like a specific uh, frequency, specific le level of consciousness. And this is how, you know, they are basically training you to vibrate a specific way, okay, based on what it is that you want to train yourself to vibrate. Let's say if we are wanting better boundaries and we start wearing br black crystals, you know, and like black tourmaline and obsidian and stuff like that, what the crystal is basically doing is it's training us on a, on a conscious le consciousness, on an energetical level to implement boundaries or, or to, yeah, they're, they're downloading in our consciousness this chapter, so to speak, that is called boundaries. And we're starting to, you know, embody this wisdom, this medicine. So you can take a crystal that relates, that is associated to specifically something that you wish to uh, manifest or something that you want to whatever draw in or whatever the outcome is that you want, okay, to invite in. So um, let's say you want peace and, and, and good vibes in your home. Let's say you want the upliftment of the space, relaxation, peace, calm, um, a sense of well-being um, so that when you come back to your home it's like you you feel calm right and you can shut outside the chaos of the world so I have here a little amethyst cluster clusters are really great if you want to program them because clusters have like these little towers from where they beam energy okay now you guys the, for the skeptical ones, these are things are scientifically proven, okay? This is not woo-woo. And quite frankly, I hate the term woo-woo because it, it just takes all of this ancient medicine and wisdom and, and throws it into the garbage as in something that we just came up with because we had nothing better to do, okay? So these things are scientifically proven, all right? So... Um, everything is energy, everything is basically electricity around us, okay? And so many of the crystals, so much of the quartz crystals, that by the way, you know, amethyst is also basically quartz crystal, so much of the, the crystal stuff around the world are inside our computers, our phones, our watches. They are great conductors of energy, great conductors and, and broadcasters and radiators and and uh, storage units of electricity and energy, okay? So clusters are amazing when it comes to, you can have one in your, let's say in your coffee table, and it doesn't matter how small, but they're gonna be radiating the intention that you're going to program them with. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your crystal or your cluster, or it could be a crystal that is like that, where you wear it on, on you. You're going to bring it to the height of your third eye chakra, okay? But somewhere where you can see it, right? And you are going to say, I mean, I'm not going to say it now because I would be programming my crystal and this crystal is already programmed <laughs> for the purpose of healing and, and a lot of other things that I'm not going to share. So you're going to put it here at the height of your, of your third eye and you're going to say, I program this crystal for blah, 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 name your purpose. You're going to say this seven times and 
you're going to reiterate it also. As long that you feel like the intention has been received, you're going to say, for example, again and again, this crystal is now programmed to do this and this and that, to facilitate and to gather and to broadcast the energy of blah, 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 blah. Um, let's say I had this big chunk of rose quartz and I programmed it, I said, this, um, I programmed this, this crystal to bring to me all the right people to bring into my experience, to help bring into my experience all of the right people for a specific business venture that I was doing at the time. And people who are only having my best interest at heart, people that I'm going to be working in harmony with, people that I'm going to bless them and they are going to bless me, people that we're going to end up having such a glorious and prosperous cooperation our communication is going to be one based on love, truth, honesty, transparency, and so and so on and so on and so on. You you put in whatever intention you want. Always please, of course, keep in mind, you guys, I, I don't think I have to state this, but I'm going to state this because this is YouTube, and if I don't say it, people are going to be like, you didn't say it. So I thought I could just set an intention for whatever. Obviously, we set intention for things that are in the highest good of all. And also you state that in the end. You say, I ask this and trust this to be carried out in joy in the highest good of all. And of course, we don't set intention for shady stuff, okay? I don't have to say this, obviously. We don't set intention for things that are overriding the free will of another. I'm not gonna go program a crystal that says, I program this crystal to make Jacob from two blocks further down want me like crazy. We don't do this stuff, okay? <laughs> they backfire, <laughs> don't. And they also don't last, okay? So anything that overrides another person's free will is a no-no and has karmic consequences, quite frankly. So you don't want it. You don't want it for you. You don't want it for the other person. You don't want it for anybody. And that's why you say, you, you heard like even in my case where I wanted to draw in people, I said, bring me the right people and where I'm going to bless them, they're going to bless me. So it is something that is going to be a win-win. The ideal people are going to come. I didn't say about specific people. I'm going to say, bring me the right people. So in a way that is right and appropriate for them also according to where they are on their journey, okay? And for me, according to where I am on the journey. So you can program uh, crystals, um, let's say, for abundance. Um, I program, you could say, I program this crystal to uh, broadcast and uphold and keep the energy of financial prosperity, financial abundance, financial freedom, well-being, and harmony. You can, of course, use crystals that are associated with wealth or whatever, but you can also take crystals that are very basic and they go, they do a good job for pretty much anything. Like an amethyst is good for that. And of course, clear quartz is the crystal. It's, it's like a blank canvas. It's... <laughs> It's a projector of energy. It's a broadcaster of energy. So because it is clear, you can use it for any type of, you know, I could program this crystal for love. Then after a while, I could program it for wealth. I could program it for health. I could program it for success on a particular venture. Heck, I even have like such crystals programmed to help me maintain order in my household. Seriously, to help me with my apartment not getting messy all that much. At least not to the degree that I cannot handle it anymore. <laughs> so a clear quartz is really awesome for pretty much anything you want to program it for. Now, if you feel like, okay, I programmed my crystal and it did its job and now I don't need this intention anymore it happened now I want another intention yes you can work with the same crystal you're going to clear it you're going to smudge it with white sage or anything else that you feel like okay yes I want to clear my crystal with that but white sage is usually great you know it wipes out everything um and then you are also going to hold it and you're going to say clear cleanse and purify 
clear and reset, clear and reset, clear and reset. You're going to repeat this. You're going to say clear and reset this crystal from any programming that has been imprinted upon it any time before. And when you do that, afterwards, you're going to um, program it with the same way that we said. I program this crystal for this and this and this and that. Now, something else that I like to do sometimes is I like to work with a selenite wand. Now, with a selenite wand, after you say your programming, you can go and you can activate. You can direct energy through the wand. You can activate your crystal. How you do this is you visualize golden light running from the center of your mind through all the way down to your heart, through your arm, your hand, through the wand, and shooting into the core of your crystal that you have programmed. You can imagine a nice, a nice explosion or whatever, like your crystal being um, surrendered and filled up with this golden light. And that's how you know the activation has occurred. Now, some of you might be laughing and might be like, oh, what are you talking about? What are these weird things? Um, ritual. This is ritual. Ritual, you guys, serves the purpose that it puts aside our conscious thinking mind that says, oh, that's not going to work. Just because now I said some words while holding the crystal here on, on you know, what? That's it? Because we've been so brainwashed by our culture to not believe anymore in the fact that the word is bond. At the beginning, there was the word. Even Genesis says it, okay? And we are all gods. We are all part of God. We have been blessed to come here into human form, but that doesn't mean that we left our divinity somewhere. We took it with us, but with the right amount of brainwashing, <laughs> we forgot all about it, right? So it's time that we start and the more, the more you believe, the more, the more you practice that, the more that you will see that actually, yes, your word is bond. Your word does uh, bind intention. Your word does imprint intention. Your word does shape reality okay yes we can command reality with word with our voice the voice is frequency sound it's it's vibration it's frequency it is an imprint it is a an instruction it is a directive that you are giving okay so fully believe in in that i mean what can i say you guys it works for so many people i don't see why it wouldn't work for you or for anyone for that matter. You just, that's why we are going into ritual, light your candle, uh, take some breaths before, go somewhere quiet, close the doors, know that you're not gonna be in disturbed, um, sit down like on a little carpet or on a nice uh, pillow and focus on your breath. Take eight times a breath where you breathe in to the count of four, like, You hold for four and then you exhale for eight. Okay? You do this eight times, right? And that helps you focus. You drop into your center. You light your candle. You have a little bit of your incense or whatever it is. And there you have it. You have your little ritual. And you program your crystal if you want to. You use also the little trick with the, the selenite wand if you have to activate it. If you don't have, you can also just imagine, same as you're holding it here and you have set your intentions, what you want to program the crystal for. You are imagining this spark happening inside the crystal. <laughs> All right? Because this is intention. In the spirit realm, Manifestation is instantaneous. If you see it in your mind's eye, because you visualize it, and this is intent, intentional visualization, then it has happened. On an energetical level, it has happened, and you better believe it. So, okay, my loves, this is how you can program 
and clear of programming and then reprogram your crystals and you can activate them. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And of course, leave me in the comments anything else that you want me to talk about. And I hope to see you soon here again on Elena's Alchemy on another episode. Until then, goodbye for now, be blessed. Yeah.